Coming up in this episode, I feel the minty freshness. <laughs> he says I've got toothpaste lips this morning. Have I? We pay our respects to the people lost at sea. And we enter into the Bodora Lakes. Good morning, it's Saturday, 20th of August, 9.30 in the morning. This is where we spent yesterday evening and last night anchored up here. Absolutely lovely little place. No internet here, it just doesn't really matter. Anyway, we've got to make our way out of Tor Bay today. We're going to just continue our way up this coast. See how far we get. Don't know where the hell we're going to go. Somewhere around here. Uh, we've only got about 10 knots of wind today from the west-southwest. Um... Yeah, it's just that's all I can say, really. <laughs> to keep you informed during the day of where we're gonna go. Oh, God's sake, we may go to Dover Bay up in here. Oh, there's other places around here, maybe anchor up somewhere there. We shall see. Luke was just laughing at me this morning. <laughs> he said, I've got toothpaste lips this morning. Have I? Probably, yeah. Just cutting up all the delicious minty goodness go on my lips. Could be a different day today, could it? Oh, nice. Just gonna cruise today, and we cruise down the coast. Oh, okay. Let's just get some stuff ready. Gonna put the main up. Now. Yeah. Ow. I just had a bit of a disaster. We were sailing out with the spinnaker and uh, the wind dropped off to nothing and there's quite a few rocks around and I went to start the engine and I realised I left the engine in the off position which overheats the stop coil on the engine and then the engine won't start until the stop coil has been cooled down if it's not broken. So Adam had a little panic, we were doing 24 metres, we could have put the anchor down and it would have been safe. but. Uh, look at the waves over there, rocks. Um, well, I cooled, the, cooled the, the coil down with the fan and then the engine started started working again, thank goodness. So we just got that up and now we are in, uh, well, we've got Genoa and uh, full main up. Well, the spinnaker didn't work and we got the engine going because we've got to get through these rocks here. This bug here in Canada. There's enough flying around your head and landing on you, taking chunks out of you. Stroof! Absolutely huge. <laughs> we did see you on AIF. Look. Big, isn't it? Oh, he's the foot. Yeah. Oh, he's absolutely flying, isn't he? Yeah. Look how fast he's going on that engine. He's dipping underneath the water. Gee whiz. Wow. Must have a hell of an engine in there to do that. 40, 50, 60 horsepower. And we're just looking at bugs. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we did see him on air. Yeah, we're tracking him. This is where we are. Andrew Island, this is Andrew Pass. <clears throat> Not that long the pass. Yeah, about one and a half miles to the end. Plan is to go through the paths, follow the Boyd Channel, come out through here, plenty of water. Well, not that much, is it? 3.7 be enough. And out to here, and then up, up, up here, and into this area here, where we're going to find a place to anchor. I think you can anchor somewhere down to here. Someone has before. There might be some more in here to pick up. I'm going to spend a day or two in here. This is Andrew Pass. Looks bloody amazing.
Really friendly fisherman guys slowed down for us as they went past. Now they're speeding back up again. Very, very considerate. We've got a little house hut. Oh, imagine living there. Wow. Amazing. Seal there. It's a Canadian seal. There's loads of them around here. They're all fat as well. Yeah, they're all really fat. It's good eating up here with fish. Delicious. You've got to go up there, though. It's rocky up there, maybe. Rocky. Yeah, really rocky. Shut up. There's a lot of flies around here. Oh, the scenery, though, is pretty amazing, isn't it? Incredible. It's so warm today for Canada. Canada? Yeah, for the top nearly the top of Nova Scotia in this wall. There's another three seals over there. Four. There's no, one, two, three, four, five seals. <coughs> Six. Loads of them. Wow. They're having a Canadian seal party. Yeah. That's Andrew's pass done got around this, meant to be green boy, but it's a rusty old boy. And then we go all the way up there and there's a town just up there. And go whoop and anchor. Can you get any more? <laughs> there's loads on there. They all got chairs and everything. They all sat on the roof. Wonder where they're doing tours. Must be doing some sort of tours here. No life jackets, all sat on the roof. Health and safety gone out the window. <laughs> Love it. Anyway, here's our anchorage. We finally arrived. So you got anchored over there. We're going to anchor in this vicinity. This is our anchorage for today. It's called Can So, so Can So. Oh, it just literally, it's lovely, it looks lush. Uh, anchored just outside the harbour. Here's the harbour here. And there's another yacht there. There's another person coming out to the yacht. I think it's mud, is it mud? Yeah, I think it's mud. Yeah, no scraping, and I think it's mud, which is, we like mud because it, it's very sticky and it's nice. There's another harbour over there, but I think that's generally fishing boats, full of fishing boats. We'll have a walk over there. And we're on seven metres of water, which is nice. All good, really. Lovely place. Where are we? Canso. Canso. Welcome to Canso. Canso. Just a little look around the village. Yeah. That's quite a point one thing, huh? Is people think they say where are you from Australia and we're like no we're not from Australia I don't know why we sound Australian <laughs> <laughs> we're British <laughs> we're Welsh Aussies we don't sound Australian <laughs> weird isn't it yeah I don't know where let's we look Australian so cool the Hart House eight, built in 1812 yeah all this um, building in town it's all cool really cool <laughs> this is the main harbour -y bit. There's a parade going on today. Look, what parade is it? Um, well, this time they go on to the island over there and they lay, lay biodegradable, biodegradable reefs for all the fishermen and people lost at sea. Yeah. We take it very seriously. We've noticed in Nova Scotia people lost at sea because there's so many souls lost. Because of the they winter fish, storms. They fish in the winter while the storms. Yes. The main fishing season, crabbing, lobster and everything up here, it's winter. Because you go into the harbours like this one here, in the summer, it's full of boats that don't move. And in the winter, they're all at sea. And that's when you get huge storms up here. Because we were out in 25, 30 knots just the other day, and the seas were gigantic for those conditions. You can imagine. We've got a severe southwesterly gale come through, and you're in a fishing boat at sea. Wow, no wonder there's so many people perished. Okay, it's 
Well, we'd love to, yeah, we're just visiting. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're going out on a boat. Not Atlas. A fishing boat to lay some reefs. Just in Cancel, it's quarter past nine in the morning and it is tipping down with rain. Today we are going to make the journey across this channel here, 20 miles, to the beginning of the Bodora Lakes to go into the canal. However, looked on the rain radar, it's going to rain like this for the next one to two hours. So we're going to wait until it stops and then go because <laughs> we don't want to get wet. <laughs> So that's what we're gonna do. We wanted to get there to the canals about one o'clock and then lock in straight away. But if we're gonna be delayed, then we might not be able to lock in today. I don't know what's happening. It depends what time we can get going. What are you doing, Ed? I don't. Every time you film me, I'm on my phone, so I can't put that in. It looks like I'm stuck to my phone all the time, not doing anything. Well, you are, Ed. I'm doing comments. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always doing comments. So today is the 24th of August, um, 2022, and we are in Canso. We were going to leave yesterday to make a passage 20 miles over to the Bodora Lakes Canal entrance, but it was raining all day, so we had to stop. 
Well, we didn't move anywhere. So today the plan is just to come out of here. Well, we didn't have to stop, but we didn't want to sail go in the rain. rain. So and we're just going to make a, a sail straight across this bay and straight up to here. Because this is St. Peter's Canal. We have to pass through this canal to get into these Bredora Lake, this huge lake here. Should take about four hours. I think we've got a southwesterly wind today. Um, well, what are they promising? 10, 15 knots? Yeah. But it's not much in here at the minute, the wind. Hopefully it'll pick up. And it's cloudy and it's not raining. So we should be there by it's 9 o'clock in the morning now. Maybe 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, depending on how fresh the wind is. We are off. Off to the Bodora Lakes, which everyone's been telling us how amazing it is there. And um, we're finally only 20 miles away from there. And we've got a good southwesterly wind, so we'll get there today. And we've got to phone the lock keeper to get a lock in just into the canal a bit and then into the lakes. Quite excited, really. We're gonna make our way out of here through a Boyd uh, channel and then down to it. We're going to be crossing a TSS, as us Brits call it, a traffic separation scheme. Running up and down here, or over here, well in the States it's called a traffic separation zone. But as you can see, because we're way up in the sticks, there's no traffic. There's no shipping or anything here. So we're just going to cross the TSS at 45 degrees. At an angle and that's fine still couldn't find anyone to regalvanize our chain and look at the mess it's making absolutely drives me wild drives me nuts hate it that's where we've got to go the point over there got to go through the gap because there's an island on the right go through there and then another seven miles down and then a little bit in to the entrance to the canal st peter's canal we are halfway between now. Just getting to this point. The sailing is going very well. We've got, uh, uh, got eight knots up our, up our bum and we're doing 85 knots speed over ground. We're actually going for the TSS but there's no ships or any vessels out here whatsoever. I was going to say vehicles then. There's no vehicles out here. Not on this batch of water. We had um, cheese on toast with tomatoes and a banana for lunch. Healthy, isn't it? The Can problem I... is though, you don't look healthy, do you? What? <laughs> <laughs> Can I? You look, you look a mess. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I need to trim my beard, obviously, yeah. I'm okay, I need my haircut. I'm gonna have to go over to port uh, two, two squirts of a lamb's tail. Okay. Completed. Quite a swell coming in from the southwest, and there's a fog bank over there. You can see it. We've got, yeah, 10 knots from behind, and we're doing 5 knots, or so 15 knots. Yeah, absolutely lovely. Lovely bit of wind. That's about it to report really, isn't it? Just cruising yeah. along. We have sped up. We're actually doing 6.1 knots. Oh, it's really wicked. So exciting. <laughs> oh, loving it. Adam is doing the captain's log. It's his favorite thing, his log book. Oh, can I have a mint? You got chewing gum. 
Yeah, like mints too. The sun has come out, it's beautiful! We're out on the open ocean! <laughs> Love it. Uh, not far away now at all. We come to the first set of boys and we're just going around this uh, boys. two boys. What do they call them here? Boy, boys. Buoys. Buoys. We're about two miles away from the canal, I think. We're there. And the canal is there, so we're going to phone in a minute. We've already heard somebody else phone on the radio. We're 1.2 miles away from the canal, lad. He's sailing vessel Atlas, sailing vessel Atlas, over. Roger Atlas, this is St. Peter's Lock, I'm back. Hello there, good afternoon. Uh, we're looking to get into the lock to get into the, the lakes, over. Roger, we're putting the boat through right now. There's a ship coming in after the boat exits. You should be able to follow that ship coming in yourself. For a starboard side tie-off. Okay. okay, Roger all that. Thanks very much. Okay, stand by on 1-0. The lock gates are closed. We've got to go in there when they're ready. So we're just going to make our way into here and just... We'll hold on to one of the ladders probably on the starboard side of the wall. Yeah, we'll tie up on the wall the there. Line on. And wait. I think there's a boat here going to go in, maybe. Oh, this is interesting. Looks really cool, doesn't it? People on the beach there, enjoying the hot sunshine. Beautiful. People up there, <laughs> waving. Yep. Yeah, we'll just type onto the wall here. Have you noticed something? That every time we come into a difficult place, I'm always on the tiller, because Adam's always really scared. I'm not scared. You don't even ask me to go on the helm. Scared of crashing, you? Yeah. Don't be silly. You don't even ask me to go on the helm. So that's your job. You do the helm, and I do all Would the. You want to go on the helm, then, do you? I don't mind. Just waiting outside the locks and me. Yeah. What have you done? You're using a tree, you're right? Onto a tree. <laughs> Is a tree doing the job? Doing a good job, the tree. It's waiting. Yeah, waiting for. There's a lock there. I'm there. just waiting. Fender's okay. Well, no. <laughs> There's no ladders. I tried to get on that ladder there and I couldn't do it because uh, the wind was at my bottom. You learned a new trick off a fisherman, didn't you? Yeah. What is this new trick? You got that run there, grab the line, put a twist in it, put the twist over, knock it off. Beautiful. Me who was bleeding on the boat. Mm. Look a bit me. <laughs> yeah. So this is uh, St. Peter's Canal. This is where we're going to go. We're going to go in there. I thought it was a double lock, but it's not. It's just one lock. It can't be though, can it? Because they just let all the water out then. What? Don't understand what's going on. I think it's all one level. They just use it for tide control. I don't know. It can't be just one lock, can it? Maybe they have free flow. Yeah. You know, there's got to be another gate. Oh, the gate's at the back there, I can see it. Okay, we've been given entry clearance, <laughs> and now we're going to enter. <laughs> Well, we 
was your last port when you, before you got here? Uh, we were in um, Canso. Canso, That's yeah. That's where we were, yeah. And you're heading to? Yeah, um, just around here. Anchor bit. off St. Peter's, I think. Yeah. I think, yeah. yeah. And then. Just St. Peter, just going into St. Peter's? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, would you have a registration number? Yes. St. Peter's. Now what's going to happen, we're going to go up to the bridge, as soon as he closes yeah. those gates, I'll open these. Mm -hmm. And I'll call you on channel 10 from the bridge. Okay. When I call you, you can drop the lines and come on up, because I have to swing the bridge over. Right, okay, I have yeah. you here, if something goes wrong, then over there. Yeah, okay. Lobster fishermen in that pond. Is there, right? It's fish season and lobsters. Yeah. yeah. And lobster can only live in seawater. Yeah, right. So it's 95, 96% salt water and 2% brackish. Yeah. 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 Oh, look like brackish. But there's lots of these, they claim you can sail this pond for a lifetime and you will not visit every nook and cranny in it. Yeah, I think we're going to be here oh, for about nice. a week, can we? Yeah. Just you'll be here a week and I dare say if you need another sail, if you see another sailboat, you'll be lucky. Because sometimes you can be in here 10 days, you won't see another sailboat. We're nice. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> We've done it, made a successful um, thingy bob lock in. <laughs> And they've opened the swing bridge for us. That's fantastic. Atlas, Atlas, you bridge. Can you pick up the base, please? The base. Okay, we're just dawdling, and they call us to say pick up the pace because it's actually a road bridge we're holding up, and there's cars on there. <laughs> and we're just dawdling, like doing two knots, chilling. No, I really. didn't realize. Pick up the pace now, we're going to go through. All right, okay, yeah, you can see vehicle stopped up there. It's an actual, an actual road. So that's why. It's like five and a half knots under the engine there. Yeah, it looks lovely. Smells lovely. Just hope there's not too many mosquitoes in here. That's not walled in, isn't it? Yeah, it shouldn't be. Put the anchor down here in the mud. Seven meters deep. And there, uh, put, put old goody snubber on. It's, deep. it's really warm. It's very brackeny, but it's warm water here. Throughout the summer, you can tell he just gets heated. I would go so in there cool. with that wetsuit. You would? Yeah. Go on then, off you go. Beautiful. Off you go. More sunnier. I'm going to settle down now, rest, and do some cleaning tonight. Look at all the mud that's gone onto here. Yeah, no, that's good. Catch them. Shut up, Lana. Coming up in next week's episode, we show you around the Badora Lakes. If you are enjoying the content, please give us a thumbs up, share, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel for more delicious content. And of course, a gigantic thank you to our amazing patrons for your support. Without you, this wouldn't be possible.